Hello Twin Flames, Lisi here with Twin Flames Heart's Desire. This is your new moon reading for the month of May 2021. So the new moon is a time for new beginnings. It's a time to surrender things. That's why I've got the Power of Surrender cards. I've always got the Moonology deck out when we do moon readings, full and new. Um, and then I brought out the Archangel Power Tarot cards um, because I've, I'm sensing that in this month, in the month of Taurus, um, it's really important to um, claim your power because the Taurus energy is an energy, it's an earth energy that um, likes stability, power, but uh, when there's any upsets, it's an upset of a lack of power, feeling powerless, and so that causes a stubbornness, that causes a lot of holding on where you don't need to, but it's especially strong in the Taurus energy. Um, so that's why I've got the, the Archangel Power Tarot card. So we're going to um, do a little bit of um, healing here for your Twin Flame Union and see what kind of energies are coming up in the collective and um, just give you some guidance and feedback about what you can do and how you can um, change your perception, change your shift your paradigm, shift your story, shift your reality. So I'll shuffle these cards and we'll be right back. Okay, so since we've got uh, the, we're talking about the moon, we're using the moon cycle to help us to heal. Um, I've got the moon card spread out. We're going to be choosing cards um, and pulling them on top of the moon here. So this is the first card regarding the moon. Be bold and make the first move. So um, in this new moon energy, what, what you're really releasing is um, the idea that something outside of you is going to happen first in your twin flame union, right? Some of you don't like that. You're like, I, I'm the feminine, so the masculine needs to pursue me. Well, in your twin flame union, you can chuck old relationship rules out the window because it doesn't work that way. The reason why is because you and your twin flame are one at the core. This means that um, you choose as one. So when you choose to be with your twin flame, they're choosing the same thing with you. And it's important to heal what's coming up because if if you have blocks to heal, if you have um, places in your union where you, know, you can really um, invite a lot of contrast, a lot of experiences that are harsh, um, abusive, things like that, that's indicating that there's things to heal within you. Um, and it's really important to focus on your own healing rather than thinking that your happiness comes from when you're together, when you're living under one roof, and then you'll be happy. No, it comes right now as um, your choice to heal. So make a bold move on that. Um, really choose to uh, claim back, um, you know, your, your sense of self and your sense of power. Speaking of power, let's draw a card from the Archangel Power. Tarot, the Eight of Raphael, um, and this, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see, there we go. This says, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. And so you can see that the, the woman in her, I guess this is a cat? I can't tell if it's a cat or a dog. Um, she's crossing a bridge, and on the other side is Raphael. So Raphael is indicative of healing, Right. So these two cards are really telling you, hey, guess what? The journey is in your hands. You're not a, a victim of your reality. You're not just being blown around by the winds of fate. You create your reality by what you choose. So if there's something that's out of alignment with love going on inside of you, a belief about yourself, a belief about your union, you can actually shapeshift your reality um, by taking steps of healing and going across a bridge is really about um, it's a symbol for transitioning into a new vibrational vortex, a new energy, something that um, where you realize that you're you're the protagonist in your own life. You get to make choices. You get to choose to be with your twin flame. Tomorrow I have a video coming out, so stay tuned to my channel. It's all about how do you call in your twin flame? How do you attract them into your life? How do you choose that? Even if you know who they are already, how do you attract them? And there's a meditation that I'll take you through um, by my teachers, Jeff and Shalia. Um, so it's just an opportunity for you to go deeper in owning your journey and owning the fact that your union looks as it does 
because of a choice you've made. There's nothing, nothing that's dependent on time. It's not time that's going to fix your union. It's you. And this fixing happens within. Your twin flame is only mirroring or reflecting something that you're doing within yourself to yourself. And that place is a place that you can restore back to harmony. Let me pull a power of surrender card. Surrender fear. Good. So you can see in this card, um, you see the, the man, I believe, in this card is really struggling and fighting. And so there's this energy that you've had in your consciousness that you can now release of feeling like you have to fight for your union and um, really feeling, I feel like um, the energy, you're, you're very tired. You're very tired of the fight, the struggle, and the struggle is coming from fear. You're afraid to take steps on your own because of this fear, but you can surrender that. And I'd love to help you if you feel stuck and you would like some support, book an introductory session with me. Um, this says, let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. You see this, this whole message is telling you, take a step towards love. This doesn't mean take a step and try to control your twin flame and lasso them and wrangle them back to you. No, this is about going deeper on your own healing journey. There's Raphael there, on your own healing journey and choosing to heal within. That is what attracts your union to you. So let's pull some more cards. All right. What else are we releasing on this new moon? <clears throat> the end of a tough cycle approaches. Ah, I love that, of course. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so the end of a tough cycle approaches again. I want you to start thinking about the fact that you're the protagonist in your own life. You're the main character you're creating your reality. It's not happening to you. A lot of people misperceive that if, if God desires it, then it will be so. They misperceive that into thinking that they're not part of that equation. Your desires and God's desires are one. If you desire your twin flame, um, this is a, a desire that God planted in your heart. Um, and so it's, it's important for you um, to release the idea that you're, you know, a victim of your reality. This is a message that's coming in real strong. Because here's your next card. The Eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. You're not seeing things clearly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the God, the divine is really coming through these cards to tell you, hey, guess what? Yes, you are in charge of your union. You don't think you are. You think that it's them or they're married to someone else or they don't like me or they're grumpy or like they, they've they really decided once and for all that I'm not for them. There's no way that this can be healed. That's an illusion. That's like this gate here. You've got the woman in the picture with Michael behind her. Michael's like, you can so open that gate. She's like, no, I can't. And he's like, yes, you can. Just try it. And I don't even want to try, okay? Well, that's the attitude that's not going to get you anywhere. Just try. Be courageous. You've got this. Um, I want you to feel into the image of this picture of having divine support behind you. This, this um, uh, suited up angel with, with uh, armor, like flapping his wings and supporting you completely as you take your steps forward. Right. And this is this choice to end the tough cycle is completely on you. That's not a bad thing. Being on you means you have the power. You have the control here. And I would love to help you if you're still feeling like stuck there. And I can. Surrender to silence. That's um, a card that is really talking about, okay, so we're hearing all these messages that you are in control of your destiny because of what you choose. You can't control how it manifests, but you certainly take those steps forward in your healing journey attracting your twin flame but it's really important to um once you choose these once you move forward on your healing journey to um, be with yourself the surrendering to silence is really about being with yourself and this picture is um an island it's a picture of an island called mont saint michel mount saint michael you got two michaels here mont saint michel is um off the coast of northern france and it's an island that can be accessed only at certain times of day because as the tides go in and out, the water rises and then falls, um, leading a, a pathway that you could potentially walk. 
Um, and this is just really uh, about realizing that you yourself, you have these ebbs and flows within you, these, these currents of inhaling and exhaling, of receiving. So the, the island of Mont Saint-Michel receives um, support, guidance, and instruction, and then it exhales and internalizes that support, guidance, and instruction. You can't just keep receiving, 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 receiving. You've got to integrate that and really internalize it. And you can't just keep integrating, 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 integrating. And it's time, you'll know, you'll know when it's time to receive more guidance and more support, right? But remember that Everything is a flow and a rhythm, but it's your rhythm. It's what's right for you. It's how you approach the situation in the world. So these, this is a beautiful reading. I love the message that's coming out. Um, and I feel that it's complete for this new moon. So don't forget to tune into my channel tomorrow. My next video is launching about um, calling in your twin flame, attracting your twin flame, even if you already know them. And, and really choose to see that you get to create your reality by what you're choosing, right? So don't wait for someone else to do it for you because A, they can't, and B, um, it's so much better just to take your own steps forward, not outside of this process, but to really choose to be a master of this process of the inner work. And to do that, you must have support, right? If you want to be a black belt in karate, you join a dojo, you get a sensei, you get someone who can guide you and show you, you know, maybe you're doing your punches a little bit wrong and wasting your energy and they can show you a better way. So claim your support, book me um, as your Ascension coach, uh, join Twin Flame Ascension School, get the book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. You, you need this and you deserve it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.